you know, caregivers do so much to help seniors, but who is looking out for the caregivers? And many of those caregivers are struggling to make ends meet within their own families. Fox 9's Amy Hockert has more on what's being done to help those who give so much of their time looking out for others. Aging has a way of helping us appreciate the simpler things in life. Sound pretty good, isn't it? But there's nothing simple about the care we need as we get older. Marilyn liked her pills right at 4 o'clock, so you had to be on time. We have your pills. Georgia Muhammad has been taking care of seniors for more than 30 years. I got one more for you, it's okay. She's one of thousands of senior caregivers in Minnesota who's in it for all the right reasons. This ain't what I do, this is what I love. I love coming here. But underneath the loving care given at facilities like this is an ugly truth. You, you all done with the water? Too many caregivers are having trouble caring for themselves. I was in my office and a staff person came running down and said, you'll never believe so-and-so was taking food off of a plate. And I was like, well, what time was it? It was after breakfast. I said, well, do you think they were hungry? And we just stopped, everyone just stopped. And they're like, it's really possible. Administrators like Erin Hilligan are bound by the state of Minnesota, which sets her employees' wages. Tired of watching her staff stretch between two or more jobs and sometimes coming to work hungry. Look at our lovely food. She decided to do yeah. what little she could to help. Margarine and bread. And then so we started adding food into the break room that people could just have when they're on their break. So before they would start their shift or while they're at their shift, that they would know it's, it's okay to have bread and peanut butter and uh, if we have rice or soup or cereal, whatever it is, that it's okay to take that and eat it so that they're nourished, that they can do their job and care for our elders. Most caregivers at nonprofit facilities make between 10 and $15 an hour. It is more than minimum wage, but senior health advocates argue the kind of training needed combined with the special care that's given warrants more competitive wages. Even the most dedicated, devoted of our caregivers really um, find it very difficult as they are raising their families and many of them being heads of household to actually uh, have a livable, workable life on that wage. Advocacy groups like Leading Age are cautiously optimistic about this year's legislative support for wage increases. Their current payment plan proposal has bipartisan support. And what we all want is to have dignified, safe, quality care from an experienced caregiver. I think that has new meaning in this legislative session. Uh-huh, have one more for ya. Until then, caregivers like Georgia will continue to be there for her family on the second floor green wing, caring for every need, intricate okay. and simple. All done. I need you to drink a little more water. Oh, they family. They family, I love it. I love it. Amy Hockert, Fox 9 News.